Games Weasel. The year's fast coming to an end, and what with Christmas stuff already in the shops, I thought I'd go one further and look forward to games coming out in the new year. So pay attention as I run down my top five games of 2011. At number five, it's Deus Ex Human Revolution. The third game in the series sees you play as Adam Jensen, a security specialist handpicked to oversee the defense of one of America's most experimental biotechnology firms. Of course, things go wrong when a Black Ops team break in and kill everyone, leaving you questioning everything you thought you knew. Full of augmented humans and a plot more twisty than a twisty turny thing, it's sure to give fans of first-person futuristic role-playing the fix they need. At four, it's Brink. After seeing the multiplayer demo at this year's Eurogamer Expo, I was blown away by the freedom of movement on offer when it comes to mantling and climbing over any object in your path. Add to that complete customization of weapons and characters, and character development spanning over online and single player modes, and this could be the FPS to watch out for next year. At number three, it's Portal 2. After the huge success of Valve's first-person puzzle game with a sick sense of humor, gamers were gagging for more, and this time they're delivering a much larger and involved game. Once again, you play as the mysterious female Chell as you're put to the test by the belligerent computer GLaDOS across a number of mind-bending puzzle rooms with the aid of your portal gun. At two, it's Dead Space 2. The first game took me completely by surprise and was one of my favorite games of 2009. This time, Isaac wakes from a coma in a space city called The Sprawl and must not only dismember necromorphs but also battle dementia, evade the government and face nightmares about his dead girlfriend. We even get to see Isaac's face this time and hear him speak. Ooh! And at number one, it's Batman Arkham City. Arkham Asylum has the best combat system I've ever played in a game, and hopefully they won't have changed it too much for this sequel. This time, the Joker's set his mental mates loose in a district in Gotham City, and so Bruce Wayne's back in his bat outfit. Expect even better visuals than before and some funky new gadgets straight out of the Batcave. So that's my top five games I'm looking forward to next year. Of course, you'll all have your own opinions, so let the YouTube arguing commence. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week, which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions, and special features, then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast, Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com.